everybody, I'm Marla with Nine Health, and we are here today at the Anschutz Health and Wellness Center, and I'm joined by Dr. Kevin Masters, who's doing an important study that we can all be interested in about our lifestyle and how that affects our health. And you're gonna tell us just a bit about it, and um, the important thing to know is that they're still looking for participants. So if you're interested, you could still join this study um, for some time now. So tell me about this study. What exactly are you trying to find out? Well, we're trying to find out what's the best way to reduce or remit, actually get people who qualify as having metabolic syndrome to no longer have metabolic syndrome. And okay. metabolic syndrome is important because it is really the first step in a chain of events that leads to heart disease, type two diabetes, and stroke. Right, so it's the precursor to some really bad things. Yes. What exactly are the measurements that you're looking for? So the measurements, there's five different measurements that we take. You need to have three of these five in order to qualify for having metabolic syndrome. So one of them is excess body fat around the waist. Mm -hmm. A second one is high blood pressure high blood glucose levels, but not having diabetes, okay. um, and high triglycerides or low levels of the good cholesterol. Okay. And I should also mention that if you're being treated for the blood pressure, the triglycerides, or the cholesterol, you still might qualify for the study. Okay, great. So your levels might actually measure low, but if you're being treated for it, you could still qualify. Okay, so you want to just find out for yes, sure, yes. contacting you guys. But tell us a little bit about the actual study. You have two different groups. We have two groups. One of the groups works primarily on their own, on their own time at home, but we provide you with information and tips for how to change your behavior, how to eat better, how to be more active, how to manage stress and be more mindful. We give you the information, but you do it on your own. Yes. The other group, we also give you the information, but you come to our center here, you meet in a small group, and we have you actually engage in activity, engage in cooking and eating what you've cooked, and also in learning you know, more about the metabolic syndrome and ways to change lifestyle. So one of them's done in a group with time commitments at the group. The other one is done on your own with your own at your own pace. And I guess one important point that folks should know is that we randomly assign you to one of those two groups. Mm -hmm. So you can't choose, you your, can't own choose your own group. But the nice thing is you're going to learn a lot about what works for people yes. and, and what kinds of people. Yes, we hope so. Yeah, that, yeah. A long term, you know, we're going to follow people over a total of two years. And we're hoping to be able to, to, at the end of the study, to say, number one, which of these two styles of intervening works best? One of them is obviously a lot more costly than the other one. So yeah. we just yeah, want yeah. to find out. And then also, for whom do these work better? Okay. So that down the road, maybe we can say to somebody, you know, you'd be really good for this one, Sounds or you'd be like really good for this one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, exciting, important research right here at um, CU Anschutz. We're at the Health and Wellness Center. And if you're interested in the study, we'll give you that information and so you can sign up and uh, find out more. Thanks for joining us.